PrivePy is a useful framework for general and scalable privacy-preserving data mining. This video shows how PrivePy works and how we can apply PrivePy to real-world applications. We can initiate a task by specifying multiple private data sources. First, we specify the variable name and choose the data set. Then, we specify the destination ID. Finally, we input the task code and start the task. The code is based on Python and uses our expressive application interfaces. We can see the hint information while the task is running. There are six steps in the lifetime of a task. Finally, the platform retrieves the final plain text results. A result may contain arrays consisting of thousands of elements and an array can be of any shape. Now let's see how PrivePy works. First, let's take a closer look at the task code. We overload basic operations for private variables so that we can write codes as in the plain text environment. We overload the basic operations of addition, multiplication, and comparison. All other arithmetic operations can actually be derived from these basic operations. In PrivePy, the clients first split data to random numbers using secret sharing before sending them to the servers. Then, the servers perform the private operations using our secret sharing protocols. Finally, the clients retrieve the shares of the result and recover the result back to the plain texts. PrivePy has many useful applications. The first application is for smart cities. With PrivePy, a government can calculate real-time statistics using the pollution indexes from different areas to monitor the real-time change of pollution in a city. In real applications, programmers cannot see any intermediate variables, but we provide a Jupyter notebook for programmers to debug their codes. We replace the Jupyter kernel with our client module. A programmer first binds a remote dataset to a local variable. Then, he inputs his codes step by step and can choose to see the plaintext intermediate variables in this debug mode. We also provide SQL interfaces for common queries. A querier can show or create tables and inquire aggregation information of private tables. The above parts show that PrivePy supports elegant programming with Python and SQL queries. PrivePy also provides NumPy features for convenient array operations. We will add more modules to PrivePy, such as private storage and streaming computation. We believe that privacy-preserving systems like PrivePy will be widely used for data mining in real-world scenarios.